Hello YouTube, Cyclic Action here, and we are back with more Dishonored. We just escaped from Cold Ridge Prison, and now we are making our way through the sewers. Nothing but the finest establishments for us. Oh, and there's already people down here. You're entirely correct about that. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's some food and there's a note <clears throat> note from a friend corvo if you're reading this it means our plan worked and you've broken free from cold ridge one of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewer grab the gear and find samuel where these tunnels dump out into the river he will bring you to us a friend who will meet you soon Ooh, getting mysterious are we i still have my sword and shit Who jellies eel? I've never had jellied eel. Maybe that's just like a British thing. Oh, and this 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 is the other thing the rat plague does. If you don't get infected, the rats just decide to eat you alive. Quite thoroughly too. They'll just be bones in a minute. If that. Jeez, is there gonna be anything left when they're done? Yeah, point is, don't don't go down there, or you'll have to fight a fuck ton of rats. Well, there's not even bones. There's just nothing. Okay. There's nothing down there we want, is there? No. So that was our introduction to the dangers of rats. Now I wouldn't suspect that there'd be many other people down here, but just to be ooh. Don't come over here. Yeah, okay, that, that bought us time. We're gonna stay in the water, because rats can't swim. And sewer water is much better than being eaten alive. Alright, let's get up here. And there's some stuff over here. Huh. Lover embrace. Well, into the trash they go. There. Now their romance is just like the Titanic. Eh, we won't bother with the journal. I want to stick to. I just want to stick to story notices. This, is, this isn't. Actually, I guess this is story time. I don't want to be reading all the books in the game. My voice will get tired. And there, we got some money. There. Now it's a love triangle for your romance. Is there anyone else in here? Hmm. More, uh... More food. A whole bunch of whale meat. Lots of whaling going on. Need that whale oil. Now I've got whaling songs stuck in my head. Alright, so there's a rat horde, and our options seem to be either we can try to eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat the rats. Bad idea. No, we can either try to fight it. Or we can feed them those corpses. Because if the rat horde reaches us, we'll just get eaten fucking alive. And I guess we need to go through that door, which means we need to go over that valve. Alright. Well, let's feed them plenty. They just not notice. There we go. 
And hopefully they won't bother with me because it will be a lot easier to eat some corpses than to hunt down live prey. No, speaking of corpses. Yeah, we might have killed a couple guards. Alright, now we have to climb this chain. Nice little touch that it does actually uh, obey physics, like when you jump around on them. The game has lots of nice little touches like that. Lots of lights and food around here. Lots of people living in the sewers. There we go, eating a rotten pear. That's going to be good for us. Now this... This... Ooh! I was thinking that was a Metro-style tripwire where if you trip them, they just, uh, they disarm. But no, I was about six inches from eating some sort of flaming projectile. Yeah, yeah, an explosive crossbow bolt. But, there's a bunch of money for that. Nothing hidden behind it. For rent. Well, I mean, I guess as far as living accommodations go, this isn't the worst. Oh, and I could have just climbed over it instead. As opposed to triggering an explosive bolt in my face. I am a smart man who... That's another launcher whose tripwire was already set. But I can probably still launch, I can still probably loot it. There we go. Bolts because we get a crossbow, I think, later. So there's traps. I'm starting to think maybe this is like smugglers, I think. Instead of just, uh, Yeah, smugglers instead of just uh, random homeless folks. Because this guy looks a little too well off to just be some random homeless guy. And yeah, we can blow out some light sources. All right, let's get our let's get our stuff. To the Lord Protector, greetings, Corvo. Or should I say, Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire, and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, craft it for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man Samuel, near where these tunnels spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. There we go. Oh, that's where I get the get the fancy stuff. There you go, a little crossbow gun. And the folding sword. This is a pretty cool sword. I mean, you would never make a collapsing blade like that, but as far as this stuff goes, if you had metal that could do it, it would be pretty cool. There we go, and I can change what I've got out. And slide under the trap. Which means we should get double the bolts from this, I guess? No, we still only get one. And then we should be able to trip this safely. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, jellied eels. I've never had jellied eel before. Wait, does this uh, have the code? No, no. Should be a corpse somewhere with the code on it. Thinking maybe it was under him. Wow. Well, he just pancaked in that corner. Alright, well, I mean, I guess... Yeah. I don't remember the code. But I want the loot. 
Wait, maybe the maybe the thing actually has something that will remind me. Shit, is there like a is there a journal? Notes. There we go. Look for the in case you're too deaf. Remember, look to, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it. If you want your share, you sort it out. Okay, something about whiskey. Oh, wait. Four, five, one. There we go. Some money and a health potion. That was that was actually worth it. You won't get past me. No, oh, there's people here. Won't help you. I kill everyone. Yeah, there he is. Sure, let's see the drop assassination. Somehow that was a quiet kill. Steal your food. Gotta have some fresh, fresh, fried, skewered rat from the plague infested rivers. Don't worry, I brought something for your watch. It's called a crossbow. I'm in the light. I'm in the light. I am not in the shadows. This is not a good position. Got the... Oh, there goes his arm. There we go. Yeah, we got a tougher one here. He's got armor. Those guys take two shots to go down. Good to remember. Kill the rats. If too many rats gather up, they form into one of those rat hordes, and then they'll just fuck your shit up. What is this? Tranquilizer? Explosive. Okay. All right, and then there was a guy I shot into the riverbank. Yeah, this is this officially is not going to be a stealth run by the slightest of definitions. But that's okay. I think last time I played, I did a stealth run. Because I remember it took me a long time. Steam says I have 22 hours in this game, so that means I must have spent a lot of time sneaking around. Because the game is of a respectable length, but not that long. Oh, there we go. That guy's got a potion. Do I see my potions here? There we are. Oh, I've got eight health potion and 700 coins already. Okay. Apparently killing people is very profitable. Who would have known? Insert government joke here. We got the trains. There we go. We're gonna eat out the trash can. Guess this is our guy. I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. So they said you'd come out here, but I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. It's just down the river from here. There might be. Hold on. 
I don't think there's anything out here that we want. Nah, nah, there's just him in his boat. Oh, hold on. No, whoa, 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 look at the whale in the background there. That is morbid. See, what they do in this uh, universe is they, uh, they flay the whales alive while they're transporting them back after capturing them. Something about uh, the whale fat's the best at that point. It's, it, it's pretty morbid, nasty stuff. Alright, so we didn't kill any civilians. They found a couple dead bodies. Chaos is pretty high. We did not get the rewards for not killing anyone or not even having been seen. Uh, but we did kill 16 people. We missed a quarter of the money. A quarter of the money down there. And I was... I guess I wasn't the most thorough. But at least we didn't miss anything else. And we did open the safe. So... Let us continue here. The Hound's Pits Pub. <clears throat> Hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists in her circle to learn what they've got in mind. Time to meet our benefactors. See, the nice thing about this stylized art style that they use is it's really held up with age. I mean, you know, it's not incredible or anything, but it definitely still looks good. I think we need to read any clues. Maybe... I don't think there'll be anything out there that's of use to us. Exploration is of more value a little later. Yeah. true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent heard the oath of us made and recognized the claim. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits Pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring his throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crown discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind lies in that rank. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear we'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. So the small touch that was missed there, because I walked into the conversation a little faster than the game expected, is about six months have passed between the, uh... Can I just not go this way? Okay, that was weird. No, about six months has passed between the, uh, events of the, uh, of the opening there, where the queen died, and the game proper. I don't 
think there's anything I want to steal right now. All right, let's meet this guy. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom made. And you, I will create the tools to master the sound. Oh, and he's making, trying to make one of my favorite little things. Extremely inefficient system where you put liquid fuel right into a small system like that that isn't intended to move. Huh? Oh, I didn't need that then. There we go. This glowing energized oil. I think there's something wrong with their whale's diet. And there we go. The tutorial on bottles is complete. The mask is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I've got a bunch of money. I don't need bullets. I don't need a rewire tool. Let's look at upgrades. So this kind of turns the pistol into a little bit of a shotgun. This helps in some areas. I don't think I need a zoom right now. Let us go with the pistol upgrade. There we go. Sounds like a good plan. Sleep well. Oh, I could use some sleep in real life. It's not even that late, but I am tired. Okay, I say it's not even that late, but actually it kind of is. Eh, I still want to play more. Alright, we've gone somewhere else. Ooh, spoopy music. Okay, old walled off door, raining outside. Okay, you say change equipment, but I don't have any. No loot. Alright, let's. That's. Ah, fuck, I am tripping balls. Yeah, something's not right. Okay, water is flowing uphill. Straight up, not even just up the hills. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to leave this for the next episode. This is going to be a little much to take in. Well, folks, this has been Cyclic Action. We've been playing Dishonored, and now we have been wigged out by Dishonored. And in the meantime, keep those cannons ready, folks.